politicians, CEOs, tax cheats, even countries. People lie, numbers don't. And there's a strange rule in math that exposes anyone who tries to fake data. If you think you can cheat the system by inventing numbers, think again. Math is watching. This story begins not in a courtroom or a stock exchange, but in a quiet library in 1938. A physicist named Frank Benford was flipping through tables of logarithms, thick, dusty books filled with numbers. But something caught his eye. The first few pages were darkened and dirty. The later pages, almost clean. People had been using the pages with smaller digits far more often. Benford paused. Why were the pages starting with the number one so worn out, but the ones beginning with eight or nine almost untouched? It didn't make sense. In normal life, you'd expect numbers to start evenly. Ones, twos, threes, all equally likely. But this pattern suggested otherwise. Could it be that smaller digits appear as the first number more often than larger ones? To test his hunch, Benford began collecting data. Not a few dozen numbers, thousands. He wrote down river lengths, atomic weights, population counts, street addresses, electricity bills, stock prices, magazine circulation, even baseball statistics. And when he tallied the results, the same pattern emerged again and again. About 30% of the numbers began with the digit 1. Only about 17% started with 2. By the time he reached 9, it was barely 5%. The smaller the digit, the more common it was. Benford had discovered something astonishing. A hidden mathematical fingerprint that shows up in most real-world data. A pattern so consistent, so universal that even nature seems to follow it. And today, that pattern is known as Benford's Law. At first glance, it sounds impossible. How can one number, just one, appear as the first digit three times more often than nine? If digits are random, shouldn't they all have equal chances? Here's where the math comes in. Benford realized that real-world numbers aren't randomly assigned. They grow, shrink, and scale over time. Populations increase, prices inflate, and measurements vary across magnitudes. In those kinds of systems, smaller numbers naturally lead the way more often. Mathematically, it follows a precise rule. P of D equals log base 10 of 1 plus 1 over D. This formula gives the probability that a number will begin with the digit D. Let's plug in the numbers. For D equals 1, log base 10 of 1 plus 1 over 1 equals log base 10 of 2, which is approximately 0 0.301. That's 30.1%. For D equals 2, log base 10 of 1.5 is approximately 0 0.176, or 17.6%. For D equals 9, log base 10 of 1.111, repeating is approximately 0 0.046, or 4.6%. It's not a guess. It's a clean mathematical law, precise to every decimal place, and it appears everywhere, stock markets, electricity usage, scientific constants, even the lengths of rivers. But here's where it gets dark. Because Benford's law doesn't just describe honest data, it exposes dishonest ones. When people try to fake numbers, they almost never follow this pattern. Humans tend to spread digits evenly. We think randomness means balance. So we write too many eights and nines, too few ones and twos. And that's how the lie unravels. In 1988, an economist named Hal Varian suggested using Benford's law to detect tax fraud. He noticed that fabricated income reports failed to follow the natural distribution. The IRS later adopted similar techniques, feeding huge data sets of declared incomes into algorithms that check whether the digits match Benford's curve. If they don't, auditors take a closer look. Here's how it plays out. Imagine two tax filers. One reports $12,350, $21,480, $14,000, all numbers that begin with one or two. The other submits $89,600, $77,400, $93,200, mostly starting with seven, eight, or nine. The first person's numbers fit the natural curve. The seconds look human, too balanced, too artificial. And just like that, the computer flags the second filer for investigation. The beauty of Benford's law is that it doesn't need to know the story behind the data. It simply measures whether the numbers behave the way truth usually behaves. But the most famous case came from far beyond tax forms, an entire country caught in a mathematical lie. For years, Greece had been under pressure to join the European Union's currency system. To qualify, a nation's budget deficit couldn't exceed 3% of its GDP. In official reports, Greece claimed a deficit of 3.7%, just slightly over the limit. But when economists later applied Benford's law to the reported figures, 
Something strange appeared. The distribution of digits didn't follow the expected pattern. There were far too many numbers starting with fours and nines. Signs of human manipulation. When the European Commission conducted a full audit years later, the truth surfaced. Greece's actual deficit wasn't 3.7%. It was 13.6%. Math had seen the lie long before anyone admitted it. Benford's law has since become one of the quiet tools of forensic accounting. During the 2001 collapse of Enron, auditors noticed something off. The company's quarterly earnings, rounded too neatly, violated the expected distribution. While Benford's law wasn't the only clue, it added to a growing mountain of evidence that Enron's numbers were cooked. Even election data hasn't escaped its reach. After the 2009 Iranian presidential election, analysts examined vote counts by region. If the results were natural, the first digits of vote totals should roughly follow Benford's pattern, but they didn't. Certain digits, particularly sevens and nines, appeared far more often than expected. Statisticians couldn't prove fraud outright, but the pattern suggested manipulation. In a country where political transparency was scarce, math had again whispered suspicion. What makes Benford's law so powerful is that it's scale invariant. If you measure distances in miles, kilometers, or inches, the distribution stays the same. If you convert currency from dollars to yen or euros, it doesn't change. It's not about human systems. It's about how numbers grow. Here's an intuitive way to see it. Start counting from 1 to 9. The digit 1 appears as the first digit only once, in the number 1 itself. Now count from 10 to 99. The digit 1 appears as the first digit in 10 numbers. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Next, count from 100 to 999. The digit 1 appears as the first digit in 100 numbers. All the numbers from 100 to 199. Notice the pattern? As numbers get bigger, 1 stays in the lead position for longer and longer stretches, while other digits, like 2, 3, 4, and so on, also get their turn. 1 always dominates the largest portion of each range before other leading numbers get their turn. That's why, when you look across scales, populations, prices, or measurements, the smaller digits keep showing up at the front. It's baked into how numbers expand through magnitudes. This natural bias towards smaller leading digits makes sense for systems that grow multiplicatively. Incomes, populations, and prices all grow by percentages, not fixed additions. That's why Benford's law fits them so well. But when people fake numbers, they usually don't understand this. They think, I'll sprinkle some sevens, some eights, some nines. That'll look random. But in nature, randomness is not even. It's biased. Predictably so. Benford's law has even been used in journalism and science integrity checks. In 2010, physicist Alex Closet analyzed published scientific results. He found that studies with manipulated or cherry-picked data often drifted away from Benford's distribution. The same was observed in pandemic reports, where some regions' daily case numbers didn't match the expected pattern, raising suspicion of data tampering. Even cryptocurrency markets have been tested. Analysts have checked transaction values, wallet balances, and token prices against Benford's curve. In stable, organic markets, the rule holds. During manipulation events, it bends. Of course, Benford's law isn't perfect. Not all datasets follow it. It works best for numbers that span multiple orders of magnitude, from small to huge. If you analyze human heights, phone numbers, or lottery draws, the pattern disappears. Those aren't natural growth systems. They're bounded or artificially constructed. So while it's powerful, it can also mislead when used blindly. Statisticians stress this point. Benford's law is not proof. It's evidence. It says, something here doesn't look natural. Then the real investigation begins. Still, it's remarkable how consistent the law is. If you took the lengths of every river on Earth, or the market caps of every listed company, or the population of every city, the first digits would fall neatly into the same pattern. Roughly 30% ones, 17% twos, down to about 5% nines. It's as if the world prefers to begin small. Frank Benford himself probably didn't imagine his dusty observation would one day become a weapon against deception. But that's what it became a silent mathematical lie detector. Think of it as a fingerprint of honesty. When data flows naturally from real processes, it leaves that fingerprint behind. When humans interfere, the print smudges, and it all began with worn-out pages in a logbook. The simplicity of Benford's formula hides its power. P 
of d equals log base, 10 of 1 plus 1 over d looks harmless. Just logarithms and division. But behind it lies a profound truth. Reality has structure, and truth has shape. You can fake a story. You can forge a signature. You can even alter history books. But if your numbers don't fit the fingerprint, math will find you. That's why auditors use it to catch embezzlers. Why governments use it to test transparency. Why scientists run it to verify data integrity. And why analysts whisper that if your data set fails Benford's test, you'd better have a good explanation. In the end, Benford's law reminds us that patterns aren't random. They're the heartbeat of reality. Every honest system, from the flow of money to the growth of trees, follows invisible mathematical rhythms. And when someone tries to fake that rhythm, it sounds off-key. It's the sound of human bias clashing with nature's order. The German tank problem showed how math can outsmart spies. Benford's law shows how math can outsmart liars. It doesn't need witnesses, confessions, or recordings. Just numbers. Because while humans twist the truth, numbers obey their laws. And in those laws, the truth always leaves a trace. So next time you see a table of numbers, company reports, election results, or national budgets, remember this. Every liar leaves fingerprints. And sometimes, those fingerprints are digits. Benford found them in the worn pages of a math book. Today, we find them in the data of the world. Because people lie, numbers don't. And math, math is always watching.